What's a common car myth that people have? <sighs> Here we go again. It's about electric cars. That electric cars are created to save the environment. They're not. They're not. Not even zero point zero one percent. Because if you actually cared about saving the environment, why you're banning all these uh, cars? What's the car ratio as compared to the cargo ship ratio? Did you know a cargo ship, one cargo ship, a normal cargo ship, creates the pollution of sulfur, which is uh, equivalent to 50 million cars. One single ship. You want to ban all the cars, all the internal combustion engine cars to save the planet? I'm, I'm with saving the planet. It's our planet. We need to save it. But it's not made for saving the planet. It's just an idea which, which, which people are selling. And a lot of people, they're going with that idea because they want to be in the trend. It's trending, so they're going with it. But True. sooner or later, they will realize because there are a lot of people busting that myth, not just me, yeah. a lot of other people also coming with facts. What's the extraction? How, how much energy you need to extract the lithium battery, to make the lithium battery, how much energy you need? And with what you are digging these? Of course, heavy equipment machineries. What goes in heavy equipment machineries? Diesel, Diesel. crude oil, all that stuff. And even worse than that, when you want to dispose it, you have a phone, yes? Yeah. Remove your phone battery and try to dispose it. I will guarantee you, take, it will take months, small battery like this. Now imagine 10,000 batteries stuck under your car. How would you dispose it? So it's doing more harm than good. I'm not a personal fan of electric cars, but people do think an electric car is, is the future. It is going to save the planet. So that's one of the myths that I think a lot of people don't know about. Like they're, they're really unaware that a lot more harm as well in it as a regular petrol car. What's the most controversial myth you have ever tackled? That Japanese are the only best cars ever created. Yeah, I think my dad's up. My dad thinks that too as well. I'm not kidding. Bring him in. <laughs> we can change his perspective in five minutes. <laughs> See, Japanese are good cars. Yes. Let's say about Toyota or another brand. Amazing. Reliability, crazy. Nothing is more reliable than a Toyota. It's not always just the case of reliability. I'll give you an example. Back in the early 2000s, what was the top selling phone? Nokia, you remember? Yes. Everyone had a Nokia, you had a Nokia, I had, I a, Nokia. had a Nokia. How strong were they? You would throw it under the wall, the wall will break, but the phone won't break. Battery lasts forever, three, three, four, four days. Why don't you have a Nokia? You need sleek design. You need uh, 500 GB uh, you know, storage. You need one terabyte space. You need uh, three cameras. You need this, lightweight, blah, 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 all that stuff. So right now we're in an era where we need something which is good to use, which is something comfortable for us to use, which is something user-friendly. So yes, Japanese cars are good for their time. There's a difference. Every, every, every one has their time. Every company has their time. German cars had their time. Japanese cars had their time. American cars had their time. Now Koreans are having their time. After two or three years more, Chinese will be having their time. Chinese cars will boom the market in a crazy way, which you cannot even imagine. Right now, it's Korean cars. Any car you will look, you will feel like, oh, it's Korean. But no, wait, wait, it's, it's, it's a German car, but it looks Korean. Oh, wait, 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 it's, it's a Japanese car, but it looks Korean. Why? Because they're copying it or they're taking inspiration from the Korean cars. So Koreans are booming right now. Before that, Japan. Before that, Germany. Before that, America. Like, yeah, it's, there's a trend. The trend. And after that, China. Since you're saying Chinese will be the next, and there are a lot of upcoming Chinese brands, cars that have sleek, you know, they look, they have sleek uh, conditions. Their car interiors are fabulous. Like I've personally gone and seen one or two brands and their cars have like everything you can name for, like from their, you know, the luxury angles from inside to the driving thing. What do you think about Chinese cars? I like Chinese cars. I'm not a guy who's against Chinese cars. The only good, the only thing which is a drawback for Chinese cars is that their engines are underpowered. For a person like me, I like speed, I like race, I like fast. For me, they're underpowered. But for a practical person, let's say like you, you just want to go from place A to place B and save fuel. So for the fuel efficiency, Chinese cars are the best. They come with a panoramic sunroof. Like the amount of money which you will spend to get a basic model Japanese car, you can get like, a, a, let's say hatchback. Yeah. And a Japanese car, basic model, does not even have cruise control or alloy wheels. The same amount you can get a Chinese car, a crossover mini SUV with Top of the range, panoramic view, blind spots, 360 camera, bird eye, sensors, leather seats, you name it, everything you can get it. And plus they are offering a lot of offers as well. You buy our car, three years, unlimited warranty, three years, uh, limited warranties with unlimited miles, six years part guarantee, this year that, buyback guarantee. So let's say you buy a car. Do you want to die with the car? Because right now people don't have that kind of passion, yeah. which they used to have in the like previous generations. They go for one car, that's one car for life. 
But now it's like every year we're changing, every two or three years max. Maximum five years, that's it. So if you're buying a car for five years, and if all that five years is covered, why are you scared? So if I'm looking for a car, I should go for a Japanese, I mean, for a Chinese car. No, you should not go for a Chinese oh. car. No, absolutely not. Depends Depends on what's, what's your, uh, what what's the vibe. I want a car that takes me from point A to point B and looks good. That's it. It has to have the features. It has to have a good design and I'm good to go. See, I'm more of a German and American kind of a guy. So I would, I would suggest if you'll ask me, I would say go for German, go for American. Yeah. Because with the German, you will feel the proper luxury. Yeah. With American, you would feel the proper muscle. Yeah. You'd feel like you're driving in the car, the sound of the car. You would feel like this. And I have the biggest pants I'm wearing. 